guys, I have my husband with me here today who's never done a bar class to show that it's a tough class and men can still do it too and get a great workout. So let's start with a little warm up away from your chair, your tabletop, whatever you need to help you. And we're gonna start with some calf raises. So coming up on one toe and then the other. Stay nice and tall, hips tucked under. Four, three, two, one, and now both up, nice and tall and down. Nice and tall, squeeze those glutes as you stand it up. Good, nice and tall, hips tucked under for four, three, two, one, good. And we're gonna turn the toes out and in, warm those hips up, out and in, just however far they go. You don't have to force it. Four, three, two, hold them out. I'm gonna do the same thing, lift one heel and then the other. <sighs> Try not to move your hips. One more, and let's do both. Up, squeeze, and down. Up, squeeze, and down. Shoulders down and back, spine nice and long, standing tall, hips tucked under. Four, three, two, and one. Turn those toes back in. We're gonna do some chair squats. So sit back like you're sitting in a chair. So I'm turning to show you that you're leaning backwards a little bit more. It's not as deep as a regular squat. Try and get those arms straight up by the ears. On the next one, we're gonna hold it down. Lift one heel and the other heel. So try and get those shoulders a little more above those hips. Hips tucked under, so you don't want your hips sticking out. Tucking them under, good, for four, three, two, one, hold it here. Now as you stand up, you're gonna bring the opposite elbow towards your knee. Squat it back down, take it to the other side. Squat it down and twist. Try to keep those arms wide and twist. Try to keep the arms straight up by the ears and then stand up nice and tall and twist. Take your time with it. And exhale every time you twist. Two more. One more. And hold that squat. Hold it here. Little pulses. And we're trying to get those shoulders above those hips. Hips tucked under. Arms straight by the ears. Shoulders down and back. Three, two, one. Let's take a forward bend. Lean through the legs. Slight bend the knees. Or roll it up. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale it out. Good, so we're gonna go up by our bar, your chair, your tabletop, back of the couch. Good, and we're gonna start plie squats, heels together, toes out, you squat down and up and squeeze. Down, up and squeeze. Zip everything up, squeeze those sides together. Good, and you can rest the arm on your hip if that's more comfortable for you. Down, up, going straight down, coming back up. And on the next one, we're gonna hold it down. I'm gonna lift those heels up and down. And you should be going straight down. Remember those hips are tucked under. They're not sticking out behind you. Tuck them under. Keeping your upper body still, just lift those heels. Three, two, now stay on those toes. Stand it up, squat down, up and down. And however low you can go. You can get nice and low, that's great. Go just a little bit, that's fine. Stand up tall, squeeze the glutes, squeeze those inner thighs. Spine nice and long. Nice deep breathing. Good. Working those inner thighs, outer thighs, glutes. Three more, three, two, and now we're gonna hold it down. Little pulses. <laughs> Take a break whenever you need it. We're right back into it. And again, however low you can go. It doesn't have to be that low. Three, two, hold down. Bring those knees in. Push them out. In and out. In and out. Good. Yes, we're almost there. You can do it. In, out. In and out. In and out. Three, two, one, and forward bend with the toes out, heels in. Roll it up. Deep breath in, arch your back a little bit. Arms out. Whew. Good. 
So we're gonna do a grand plie. Step out, step it out, slide it in. Step it out, slide it in. Out and in. And again, you can rest the arm on your hip. Let's find whatever's comfortable. Slide the heel in. Work that inner thigh. Zip everything up. Good. Big step out. And in. Big step out. Nice and low. And in. Good. But remember, hips are tucked under. Shoulders above those hips like you're sliding down a wall. On the next one, we're going to hold it out. Hold it here. Lift one heel up. Pulse it out. Shoulders down the back. Nice deep breathing. Rest in and then right back into it. Three, two, switch. Nice deep breathing. Both heels down. Good, quick break. Now we're gonna go back into your plie squat. And then we're gonna turn this into a lunge. And then back out. And in. And open. Try and stay low. If you need to, you can come up and then going back down. Good. And out. Good. Open nice and wide. <laughs> nice deep breathing. Next one, hold your lunge. Hold here. Cool little pulses all the way through the front line. <laughs> Um, Come a little bit higher if you need to. Or quick break again. Three, two, hold down. And we're gonna lean forward just a little bit, all the weights on that front leg. Tap your back toe in, tap it out, in and out, in and out. Try to put just your fingertips, maybe just hands on your hips. Yes. Keep going. Three, two, one, up. Shake it out. Ooh. Let's do the other side. So we're gonna just turn our chairs to the other side. So starting with the grand plie squat, heels together, toes up. So we're gonna step it out, nice and wide, slide back in. Out nice and wide, slide back in. Out and squeeze. Out and squeeze. Good. Shoulders right over those hips. Yes. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Squeeze the glutes. Yes. Nice deep breathing. We're going just as hard on this side as we did the other. The next one, we're going to hold it out. But this time, both heels. Yes. If your legs are shaking, that's okay. Mine are too. I'm sure his are. You got this, stay low. Can you get lower? Now hold those heels up. Little pulses. Yes. Again, chest up. You can do this. Deep breathing. Three, two, and one. Quick break. Good. Now we're gonna go from our plie to our lunges. So nice and wide. And bring it into a lunge. Open up and lunge. Open and lunge again, trying to stay low, but if you need to, you can stand up in between them. Great job. Good. Two more, then we hold. Last one, hold it here and pulse it out. Okay, right, we'll pick the heel up. Heel up, all the way to that front leg. Try and keep your chest up. Three. Two, one. Now we're gonna bring that back foot toe in and out, in and out, quick tap. Okay, you wanna make it a little bit harder. Hands on your hips. Front leg is not moving. Three, two, one. Hold that chair squat. Hold it here. Hold it. Chest is up. Hips are tucked under. Three, hold. And pick those heels up and down. Heels up and down. Hips tucked under. Don't let them stick out. Try not to let the chest go forward. Chest is up. Hold those heels up. Stand up.
squat down, up, squeeze, down, up, squeeze, down. Yes, you can do this. Whew, three, two, one, and let's get forward, bend, back is flat. Deep breath, roll it up. Good. So we're gonna stay right here and going back to chair squats. So squat it down and up and squeeze. Down, up and squeeze. Legs are together. Hips are tucked under. You're sliding down your wall. And the next one, you're gonna hold that chair squat. Marching it out, lift one foot and then the other. Good. And my chair is actually a little on the shorter side. You probably want a little bit taller chair or your countertop. And then when your right leg is up, we're going to hold it here. We're going to stand and squat. Stand and squat. Stand. You want to make it a bit harder as you come up. Up on that toe. Down. Up on that toe. Down. Up on that toe. Good. One more. Keep that leg up. You're going to bring it behind you. Little quad stretch. Stretch that hip out. Oh, but now we're adding on, done with stretching. You're gonna do a little lunge behind you. Stand it back up. A little lunge, stand it back up. That's however far down you can go. Try to keep that chest up. All the weights on the standing leg. Yes. Three, two, on the next one, hold it down. Little pulses. Whew. You got this. Three, two, hold the leg up. Both hands on your chair. You're gonna drive the knee in, standing leg is bent. Push up for a donkey to kick. In, keep that knee bent, push it up. In, push it up. In, push up. I know that standing leg. Hello, glutes. Push up. Try not to let that back arch. We're not swinging the chest now. Keep the hips tucked under. Next one, hold up. Pulse it out. Good. Three, two, one. You can finally stand it up. Quick figure four stretch on that standing leg. And coming back up. We're gonna do the other leg. You can stay right there if you. I'm gonna turn just to face you guys. So starting with those chair squats again. So down and up and squeeze. Down, up and squeeze. Keep those hips tucked under. Try and keep the shoulders right above those hips. And on the next one, hold it down. Let's do our marching. Lift one knee and then the other. Good. Try and keep that chest up. Shoulders above your hips. Try to stay low. We have the left leg up. Hold it. Let's stand and squat. Stand and take your time with it. Shoulders down and back. Couple more, you got it. That work just as hard on this side as you did the other. Two more. Just one more. Hold it up. Bring that leg behind you. Get a nice little stretch first. Knees together, hips forward. Okay, you know it's coming. Let's do those lunges. Lunge back and up. And back and up. Again, take your time. Try and get as low as you can. Nice deep breathing. Chest is up. Three more than we hold. Three. Two. On your next one, hold it down. Little slow movements. Yes. Three. Two. One. Good. 
butt, keeping that leg up, hands on your chair or your counter, or donkey kicks. Bring it in, kick it up, in, kick it up. That standing leg is slightly bent, back is flat, exhale, every time you kick it up, remember hips tucked under, push it up. Think about putting your footprint into the ceiling. You can do this. Whew. Three more. Three. Two. Last one. Hold up. Little pulses. Little pulses. Yes. You can do it. Almost there. Three. Two. One. Stand it up. Stretch that standing leg. Figure four. Stretch. Right across the other knee. Sit the hip back. Push the knee down if you'd like. Good. Stand it up. Now we're going to get our mats out. We're moving our chairs out of the way. Getting your mats out. Grab water if you need it. Okay. So we're going to be down on our backs. Start with some bridges. So push through the heels, lift those hips up, squeeze those glutes, slowly roll it down. And up and squeeze, slowly roll it down. Up, squeeze. Really think about squeezing the glutes when your hips are up and not just lifting your hips. Shoulders are relaxed. Now we're gonna hold it up and we're gonna lift one knee up. Then the other knee, doing some marching. Remember, shoulders are relaxed. You got this. Good, now right leg is up, and the right leg is up, we're gonna hold it up, legs straight up, and you're gonna drop your hips down, push up, down, push up. You wanna make it harder, don't let your hips completely touch the ground. Exhale. Push through that heel. Exhale. Whew. You got it. Really squeeze that left glute. Three. Two. Hold those hips up, both feet on the floor. Switching legs, left leg up. And drop those hips down. Squeeze up. Down. Squeeze up. Yes. You can do this. Deep breathing. Push up. It's nice and high, shoulders relaxed. Almost there, three, two, one, both feet down, good. And now we're lifting those heels off the ground, up and down, heels up and down. Gotta hold those heels up, good, now drop the hips down, don't touch the ground, up and squeeze, down, up and squeeze, down, up and squeeze. Really squeeze those glutes. Yes. Four. Drop three. Two. The last one, roll all the way down. Oh, feet a little bit wider than your mat. Let the knees drop in towards you. Get a little glute stretch, low back stretch. And walk those feet back in. Good. We're going to have your hands behind the head, push that low back down, brace that core, bring one knee up on the other knee, when I'm say brace your core, you tighten those muscles like somebody's about to punch you in the stomach. Good, and now option if you can, pick the shoulder blades off the ground or leave the head down on the ground. I'm gonna tap one toe down and then the other. Good, trying to keep the knees at 90 degrees, but if you need to tap closer to your hips, that's fine. Doing whatever you can do, but make sure you're challenging yourself. Yes, inhale down. Exhale it up. Inhale down. Exhale it up. Now you can either stay here or join me with both feet. Tap both feet down. Bring them back up and again if you need to. Tap closer to those hips. If you need to, rest that head down. Good, and inhale down. Exhale it up. Slow and controlled. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Four. Three. Two. One more. Hold at that tabletop. 
Good, and we're gonna kick one leg out, hold it there, and one-legged, or one-sided bicycle crunch. Your left elbow to the right knee. Whew. Option, you can bring that left leg higher to the ceiling, or you can put your foot down to the ground. You can even put both feet down, and just bring the elbow across the body. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Four, three, two, one. You gotta switch sides. Take a break in the middle if you need to. And join us when you're ready. Or pause and join when you're ready. Good. That leg that's straight out, squeeze it straight. Exhale. Keep those elbows out to the side. Good twist. You got this. Four, three, two, just one more. And knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Good. Okay. So we're gonna have those legs at tabletop again. And option again, head off the ground. Good. And you're gonna kick the legs straight out. Bring them back in. Straight up. Bring them back in just to that tabletop. Push that low back down. And make sure if your shoulder blades are off the ground, elbows are out to the side, that you're not in and you're not pulling on your head or your neck. Kick those legs up completely straight. How will you drop? Up to you. Kick them higher to the ceiling if you need to. Just squeeze those legs together. Squeeze them straight. Push that low back down. You got this. One more. Good. Hold in. And now frog leg kick. So heels together, toes out. Knees are going to go out. And then you're going to kick those legs together. In. Kick them and squeeze. Oh yes. God. Yes. Oh Good. Push that low back down. Again, kick higher to the ceiling if you need to. Rest that head down if you need to. Squeeze the legs together. Squeeze them straight so we're still working my legs. We're almost there. You can do this. One more. Hold those legs out. Now you're gonna turn so your toes touch each other. Turn the heels out. Turn toes to touch each other. Turn those heels out. In, out, in, out. Three, two, one. Knees into your chest. Hug them in. Rock side to side. Feet flat on the floor. Hug the right knee into your chest. Good. And straighten that left leg on the ground. And you're gonna bring the knee across the body with that left hand, right arm out to the side, looking to the right, nice twist in your body. And bring that knee back to the floor. And bring the left knee into your chest, straighten the right leg on the ground, and let the knee fall across the body, pull it across that right hand, looking to the left. And then you're going to turn onto your side. And then we're turning onto our hands and knees. Good. We'll start with a bird dog, a little stretching, a little more stretching. So you're going to round the low back. Oh, I'm sorry, cat and cow, not bird dog. And then arch it out, chin up. Rounding and arching one more time, stretching those abs out. And neutral, flat back. And we're gonna bring the right leg behind you, left arm out in front, and you're gonna lift up and hold. Squeeze that back leg straight. Suck that belly button in. And now option one, you just tap the fingers and your toes down, up and squeeze. Option two, you can add a little crunch, and then out. Crunch round that low back, push out. Crunch, elbow to knee. Knee against that elbow. Exhale. So that was option. Another option, up and down. Squeeze in the glute every time you lift that leg. Two more. One more. Hold, lengthen, bring it down. Sit the hips back, knees out, toes together. Little child's pose. Taking a nice deep breath. Roll it up. Let's do the other side. Left leg behind you, right arm up, up and hold first. 
Reach those fingertips, reach that heel, sweep the legs straight, squeeze that glute. And now option one, tap the fingers and toes down and up. Or option two, that crunch. Round and reach. Round, lengthen. Good. Yes. Suck that belly button in. Brace that core just like we did on your back. One more. Hold it out. Lengthen. And bring the arm and leg down. Sit the hips back. Good job. And roll it up. Good. And then we're going to do some donkey kicks. Fire hydrants, then we'll stretch it out. You're so close, you're doing awesome. With the right leg, so putting your footprint into the ceiling, slowly drop the knee down. Push up, bring it down. Try and keep that knee at 90 degrees. Slow and controlled, so make sure you're not arching back as you lift that leg up. Good. Exhale every time you lift that leg. Shoulders should be away from the ears. And on your next one, you're gonna hold up little pulses, little movements. Bracing that core, hips tucked under. Three, two, one, bring it in. Now knee out to the side, same leg for those hydrants. Keep that knee bent, nice and controlled. One more on the next one, you're gonna hold it up. Now kick that leg out, bring it in. Out and in, out and in. On the next one, hold out straight, toe taps, down and up. Yes, keep that leg out. Three, two, one, bring it in. Sit the hips back, good. And come up, we're gonna do the other side. Turning so we can show you. Good. So left leg up and down. Up and down. Keeping those hips tucked under. Without putting the footprint into the ceiling, try to keep that knee bent 90 degrees. Exhale it up. And you're also going to feel it in the glute of the supporting leg. The knee that's on the ground. That's holding the rest of your weight up. So it's still working. You got it. One more on the next one. Hold it up. Little pulses, little movements. Keep it going. You're so close. You can do this. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Hydrants out to the side. Bring it back in. Out to the side. Bring it in. Two more. On the next one, hold it up. Kick that leg out, bring it in. Kick it out and in. Kick it out and in. Try to keep that knee up. Three, two. On the next one, hold up. Toe taps. Oh, I know. Whew. You can do it though. Three, two, one. Bring it in. Sitting those hips back. Whew. Roll it up, good, and tuck the toes, and we're gonna push it up to a down dog. You're gonna lift that right leg up. We're just stretching, going into pigeon pose, bringing your knee towards your chest, foot out to the side, and we're gonna tuck the back leg under, sitting the hips down. So make sure you are not sitting on your right hip. If it's too much, you can bring the heel in towards your hip a little bit more. You want more of a stretch, pull it out a little bit more. And you can bring the chest down if you'd like. It should be a comfortable stretch. Going too intense. When you breathe, inhale, think about lengthening that spine. Exhale, lowering the chest. And bring that chest back up. Taking back toe under. So you can go into your hands and knees to do the other side or back into a down dog, left leg up, knee to nose, foot out to the side, 
sitting those hips down. Remember, we're not sitting on the left hip, holding it up. And if you like, walk the arms forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, lower the chest. Wherever your elbow is below, you can go where you feel the stretch. And go ahead, bring it back up. But, and then up into plank on your toes or on your knees. And drop the hips down, shoulders down and back. And look over one shoulder. And then the other shoulder. Back to the middle, up on all fours, going into one last down dog. Walk the hands towards your feet, forward bend, rolling it up. Take a nice deep breath in, nice and tall. Exhale it out one more time. Up nice and tall. 